everybody, it's Rhonda here from Nelson Soapery. Today, let's get into a video all about making some gorgeous lip balms. I know that many of you can buy the bases because there are bases that you can actually buy from big suppliers, but why not make it yourself? It's really cheap to make it yourself and you 100% can do it. It's not hard at all. So before we even get to start, I'm just going to show you. So here is actually the little lip balm cases that you get. Hopefully you can see that nice and clear and I have already wrapped my uh, label on it. For anyone wanting to know how to make professional labels like these, um, all you need to do is watch one of my next videos. I'm about to bring one out uh, probably the end of this week and that will all be about how to make the label. I'll actually be showing you from scratch how to make it on Canva, how to print it out, how to use a, um, a Cricut machine and so on so that you get a super professional one. So I will bring that one out. But for today, like I said, I've already done my labels. Of course, it needs to have the ingredients, warnings and so on on there as well as your weights. So that's what I've done. And then um, you can see my little logo here. So just in the corner. And of course, once these ones are done, um, we are going to, you know, spray them and make sure they're all gorgeous. So inside them, I won't use this one because I've touched that one without gloves. But the other ones I will actually be popping into the trays that I've got right here. This is actually a lip balm tray. So it's really easy. Unfortunately, they get messy underneath. It's almost impossible to get everything out, but I do try. And then all we're going to do is literally we're going to put all of these lip balms upside down in it. And then we can actually pour the base. So first of all, the first thing to do is obviously make sure everything you're doing is super clean and sanitized. You have gloves on, which I will be popping some on in a moment. And then we're going to pop all of these ones inside here. Once these are sitting in here, then we'll get um, and make all of the mixture, which basically the mixture is, um, you know, cocoa and shea and coconut, some beautiful things, some vitamin E and so on. But I will show you exactly how I do it. But before we get started, let's just get these. And literally, this is all we're going to do is you just push them straight in there. And if you can see from here, you'll be able to see them. Um, if you can see that one sitting there and you line them all up as much as you can. And that's literally all we're going to do. So I'm obviously I'm not touching the um, tops of them because they have been sanitized inside. Usually you would do these without the labels, but I think I ended up having um, some spare labels. That's why. And my labels are actually printed on a standard printer. But the only difference I actually do with these is these are printable vinyl. So that's what I'm actually using, printable vinyl. And it's definitely, um, you know, worth it because it's waterproof. It will um, stand the test of time. Remembering people are going to pop this in their car and they'll probably leave the lip balm in God knows where places, you know. And so that's literally what we're going to do. So I'm going to put all the rest in, but for now I'll show you. And then it's literally going to stand up like that. And then we pour it in the top. But obviously we want all of these covered. So I'll get doing that and I'll come back in just a minute. All right, so I poured them all in the tray and you can see that they are not all in there because I didn't have enough to fill the whole tray. So that means basically we need to get like a little pipette or something to pipe each one. But if you don't um, have the pipette, literally you can just pour it on top of the whole tray. If all of these are full, you can pour it on the whole tray and then you can just scrape it off. So it's really, really easy. But for today, I don't have that. I'm only going to do a smaller amount. So for here, like I said, we'll use a pipette and I'll show you. And this is probably how most of you will do. Most people are not going to do 50 or 80 in one go of one particular um, fragrance, are they? And these ones, are, these are my unicorn ones. So they're going to be done in a vanilla scent. So we'll pop this one aside. And now we need to get on to the rest of the mixture. So inside here, I do have um, just, you know, on my little, this is my little electric one, which I have in my studio. And then there is some water because we're going to double boil, have a Pyrex in here. Make sure this is a heat safe glass. Make sure that you have disinfectant, it, which I have. I've already sanitized it and everything. Um, you can use a bleach solution, um, a watered down bleach solution or uh, isopropyl. I actually use isopropyl in all of mine and wipe them all out that way and then just let it air dry. So from here, we need to organize everything. So I'm going to just organize everything. So we'll need some coconut oil. 
some shea butter, some cocoa butter. We will also need some beeswax, some vitamin E, and of course our fragrance. So let me go and grab that and then we'll pop it all in here and we'll start this process. Now here are the gorgeous ingredients that we are going to be using and you can see how natural these ingredients are. They're absolutely beautiful. So we have some shea butter here. I buy mine from Deluxe Shea. And then we have some beautiful cocoa butter. I also buy that from Deluxe Shea as well. And in my opinion, they just have the most beautiful butters. So that's why I buy them from them. And they come from Ghana and they are responsibly and ethically sourced and um, whipped and made gorgeous by the women over there in Ghana. And now next, just in here, we have our beeswax. So do remember, we are using beeswax. So this is not a vegan recipe. Um, but you can change um, the beeswax for something else, but I don't. I honestly only uh, use beeswax in mine because it just works. So in here, my little oil container here, this does have my fragrance oil in it and it also does have some beautiful vitamin E. And then I've got a tiny bit of um, coconut oil in here and that would just make the lips really glistening and gorgeous. But the key ingredient to this is the shea and cocoa that are going to make everything sing. If you really want to put, um, you know, a colour in it, you can use some mica, a tiny bit of um, cosmetic mica that is safe for lips. Um, but you definitely do not need to do that at all. Um, but if you do, put the smallest, tiniest, weeny bit. So anyway, let's get going and we will actually make this. So as I said before, we do have our water in the bottom. It's just like, you know, an inch of water at the most. And then we are going to pop this in here. Make sure any containers or spatulas or anything you're using have been sanitized and um, are ready for this as well. You don't need to put a preservative in because we are not putting water in this. And I would think that a lip balm is not going to come in contact with water so you don't need a preservative if you want to put one in of course you can just go and read all of the instructions of the preservatives most of them are about one percent of your oil ratio uh, but you know like I said do have a look at that so now we're just looked literally as you can see I'm literally just putting everything in in one go the only thing I'm not going to put in is the vitamin e and the fragrance because we're going to do that once everything has melted down so don't rush it, just put it on a really low heat. Mine is on a low heat. And then we're just going to let it do its thing. It may, ta may take 15 to 20 minutes or so um, to melt. So we're just literally going to leave that. Like I said, we have already uh, got our lip balms organized. We know what we're doing with that. And so once this is, you know, like I said, totally melted down, we're going to make it absolutely gorgeous. And we will need like a little pipette. And the pipette is going to suck it out of there and easily put it inside the tubes. But there's lots of different ways you can do it and pour it in. But this way, because like I said, I'm not using as many um, things as I would usually use. You know, um, if I filled the tray, then we could just pour it on the tray, scrape it, and that's it. If you want to see that method, go back and watch one of my older videos. The older one will have the recipe in it, the full um, recipe for everybody. But I have altered this one to make this one a more of um, a beautiful luxury one. So I've just changed the ingredients a little bit through testing. And if you want the recipe for this one, it will be over on my Patreon. So just go over there and join. And it's like $10 a month or $20 a month if you want to join um, the Patreon. And for that, you'll get all the recipes. I give worksheets and so on during the week. So, um, and they get behind the scenes videos and things that I don't put onto YouTube. And that's just as a thanks for them supporting me and helping me because all of this does cost money to make it and teach everybody on here. And also on our Patreon, once a month, we will be doing a live workshop. And that will mean I'll actually show you live making a recipe once a month. And you can follow through it and make it with me if you like. But anyway, like I said, for here, for today, we're just going to let this do its little job. We'll let it melt down and I'll bring you back when we're ready. 
while you're waiting for everything to melt down we need to organize the little lids so i placed these on here and given them a spray i buy mine in massive bulk so this is what they look like when i actually buy them but of course they sit there so you need to make sure that you're checking that they are not dusty that you have cleaned them all out and so on so now it is almost time for me to take the rest off the heat so we'll take that off and then we'll be on to the next stage all right everyone it has melted if you can see inside and you'll always get these bits on the outside and that is the beeswax if you want to do a vegan one you basically need to alter this recipe a little bit um, if you're on Patreon, I will actually give you um, a vegan one over there. It's basically the same. We're just going to be upping the cocoa um, because that will definitely help. So what we're going to do now is we will just move the camera up in a little bit. So here we do have our tray and then we do have a little pipette. And all we're going to do, so this is your pipette. I've cut the end off, if you can see. And literally all we're going to do is just get a little bit like this in the end of the pipette and then we're literally just going to tip it in there this is definitely a harder process like i said if the whole tray was full um we would definitely uh add the next bit in but um oh and and now that i've done that and made a mistake i forgot to tell you we need to add the vitamin e in so let me add that in and give it a whiz uh that one that i've just done may be my daughter's now i think so i'll have to remember which ones is hers, won't I? So we'll know that this one here is uh, for my young daughter, Annie. And like I said, now all we're going to do is do these up. These are a standard lip balm. They weigh about four grams once they're done. Fill them right up to the top because what we're actually going to do once these are done is you can let them dry a bit and then you use the heat gun and that will smooth the tops before we put the lids and their safety seals on them if you're selling at a market 100 percent you need the safety seal on it everybody you really do because the safety seal on it will stop anybody opening it tampering with it touching it and so on so always make sure it has that on it if you're going to um sell it if you're selling it straight from your home and no one else has touched it it wouldn't matter as much uh, but if you're selling at a market, you do need to have tamper-proof things on most products. Because uh, I've had many people actually pick one up and actually put the lip balm on. And you think, really? So then, obviously, I've had to throw the lip balm in the bin. Uh, so, yeah. So, just letting you know that does happen. You'll be amazed how many people don't think about it. They just pick it up. And before you know it, it's disaster has struck. So... Um, and then they've, you know, ruined one of your products and you can't sell it like that. So hopefully I am showing this. I know my hand is probably in the way a little bit. But yeah, like literally, like I said, you know, you've got this and I've just got the pipette in here. And that's it. And this does take a lot longer. But if you pour it, it will just be so messy. Uh, but like I said, if um, this whole tray was full, I would literally just you know flood the whole tray because it has these edges on it here and that actually stops um you know the liquid going anywhere else except for inside them and then you just kind of scrape it um and like i said i did a video quite a long time ago i think over a year ago and that one actually shows me flooding the tray and showing you how to actually flood um a tray and all that means is literally just pouring it straight onto the tray and scraping it back for your um product so that's literally all that means and look how gorgeous these ones are going to look and i tell you they smell so nice uh, and you will get little dots in the middle because remember each lip balm has like the little stick that sticks in the middle but don't worry if you get that i just go over the top refill it but as i said we're going to fix that um, because we're going to use the heat gun over the top so i have done these bits so i won't bore you and show you uh, me doing the whole lot but i'll bring you back once these are ready and once we are ready to just um you know go over the top and i'll show you the next step of what we're going to do okay everyone you can see how messy and not very beautiful it looks so all we're going to do is get our heat gun and just go over the top just put the heat gun on low 
and we just really want to melt the tops just so that they get all glistening and just they'll look actually really nice and it will smooth them all off as well so if there's one part that you kind of feel isn't you know smooth and not perfect this will smooth them all off literally that's it and once they are dry i'm going to take them out even before they dry we can like take them out so this is what they're going to look like can you see the tops there all i do is get like a palette knife and take them off um, and I just really like them to be like that so I can make them as smooth and gorgeous as I want. If um, you want them after you've done them all, you can redo them again if you like. You can like put the heat gun over after you've sort of put your palette knife over the top. But most people don't really care as long as they look neat and they're gorgeous. Um, and then, you know, look how pretty they look. They just look so, so nice. And we'll take them out. And they smell so good. These ones are soft. If you um, are going to send them to somewhere, you know, I do suggest using the beeswax because it does give the, a little bit of fullness to it. Um, and a lot of the um, bases that you use, a lot of the bases are, are really, really soft and they'll melt very fast. That's definitely one thing I noticed with a few bases that I bought. And then if you don't end up using it all, put it back in the melter and you can re-melt it again the next day. Um, so, you know, and make more another time. But I'd definitely say make them straight away. But look how gorgeous they look. So now I'm going to just finish the tops off. I'll show you what I do with that. And then we will be almost finished. All right, everyone. So what I've got is just like a little palette knife here. So all you're going to do is just get the tops and you can literally just wipe them over to the side. Doesn't take that hard. And then basically that's all you're going to do. And then you can put the heat gun over the top if you like or just smooth it over just like that. And then that's literally it. I've already, um, you know, sanitized all my lids. So we will pop the lid on because we know that one's good to go. And that's it. The lip balm is gorgeous and all done. I hope you've loved this video. If you have, make sure you give me a huge thumbs up. And I will see you on the next video. But do remember the recipe is over on Patreon. Thanks everyone. Bye for now.